Due to unforeseen circumstances, I am taking this road trip by myself. I was going to go through the state of Florida with my buddy Drew, and he canceled at the last minute because he had some stuff come up, but I'm already packed up and ready to go. The plan was to spend eight days in the state of Florida, traveling around and finding hidden DIY spots and a bunch of different skate parks. Some old ones, some new ones, some awesome ones, and some crappy ones. And now, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, the plan was to just camp out uh, in each city or area that we were gonna be staying in, spend a full day at a skate park. Some of the days we might go to two different skate parks or two different skate spots. Now I'm on my own, I'm already packed up and about to hit the road and honestly, I might completely deviate from the plan. But as of right now, the plan is to just drive to Gainesville and locate a DIY. This was the first stop that we were planning on taking so I'm just gonna take that course and then, I don't know, see what happens. Might deviate from the course and go completely off the rails to some different places, but whatever. I'm just gonna play it by ear. It is cold, I am uncomfortable, but I'm ready to do it. So, hold on to your butts, we're hitting the road. I just drove about two and a half hours. I'm in Florida and I'm in Gainesville and I am three miles away from what I believe is this little hidden DIY. I'm probably not gonna reveal the location out of respect for the locals, um, but me and Drew were able to get in contact with someone who lives in this area and got the location from them. So uh, we checked it out on Google, Google Maps and you can actually see it from there. So I'm pretty sure we have the right location. So hopefully, in three miles, I'll be able to pull right up on it. I'm not sure if there's like a place to park or not, but we'll see. I'm not sure where this place is. I think I found it, not positive though. All right, it says it's right here on the map, but I haven't seen it yet. I don't know where to go. I think it's just beyond the woods, like right over here. I just don't know where I'm supposed to park. I might have to just park at a restaurant or something. Hopefully I don't get kicked out. I think I see where it's at. I just, I'm not sure how exactly to get there. That's the issue. Hang on, I see some cars parked up here. Let me see if I can park right here. Um, they have a GoFundMe for this place. Uh, apparently the city's like cool with it and everything, which is very strange for a city to like approve of a DIY, which is crazy. So I know they raised uh, a pretty good bit of money and are still currently raising money to build more, more stuff out here. Um, I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can find a place because Without giving away too much information about this place, this is where I'm parked, and this is a parking lot to a place, and that's the DIY right there. So I'm assuming I can just walk through this parking lot and cut in right there, because it looks like there's a little break in the woods. So uh, I'm gonna try that. Where is my board? Let's see if this is it. Nope. There's a big wall. I don't know how to get into this place. There's gotta be an opening somewhere. It's somewhere through these woods. Okay, I don't know how you can see that, but there's a fence right there. There's a break in the fence, let me see. All right, there's a break in the fence. Oh, I, I see it, I see it through there. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to go, but this is the way I'm going anyway. Dude, this is crazy. Never in a million years would I, would, have, would, I, would I have found this place if I was just driving around. Here we are. This is awesome. Wow, this is pretty incredible. Dang, man. I guess I went, I don't even know if I went in the right way because there was no path. Looks like there's a path over here though. Aha, uh -huh. this is probably the way you're supposed to come in, yep. All right, so I went back to my car and grabbed some camera gear. And when I got back, I uh, actually found the correct path to come in here. Notice there was another car parked off to the side and there was a guy inside. So just across these walls, there are a couple of guys and they're just hanging out. And one of them 
is the guy that helped build the park. Um, I'm not going to divulge too much details in this video, but I am going to do a separate video that's specifically a Park Sharks episode about this skate park. So right now it's about 4.35, somewhere around there. Um, it's going to get dark soon. It'll probably be dark by like 6 or 6.30, especially with this cloud cover. So I'm just going to hang out with them for a little bit, and then I've got to go find a place to camp for the night. I haven't researched where I'm going to go. So uh, let's go uh, hang out with them for a little bit, shoot a little bit of footage, and then on to camping. That was a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna come back out there tomorrow. They were just killing it. it was, that was awesome. I hope as many people are out there tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna film, uh, like I already said, I'm gonna film a full-fledged uh, episode of Park Sharks if you wanna see more of the park, um, but I'll still document some more stuff coming just ahead. But right now, I have to find a campsite because, I don't know, I, I planned where I was gonna go location-wise, but not where I was gonna camp. So I am gonna download some apps search on Google and hopefully I'll be able to find something that's cheap and easy to get to um, that's nearby the city of Gainesville so I can come back out here and film some more tomorrow and then I guess I'm gonna go to Ocala that was the next spot I had planned so I'll probably go to Ocala after that uh, there's a couple skate parks that I want to uh, go check out so here we go I found a state park called the uh, Payne's Prairie Preserve called the number of course, their offices was where they're closed, but uh, called the number and it said that, you know, when you get there, there's a QR code on a sign that you can scan and then pay that way. What they failed to mention is that there's a main gate and it closes at sundown. And on the gate, it says all entry prohibited when gate is closed. So there's no way to get in. Kind of bummed, but this is what happens when I don't do research. So what I'm gonna do is, there's a car pulling up right now. Hang on, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling here. Are you with Gulf Up? What's that? Are you Gulf Up? No, I'm not. Is this the only way in there? I don't know. I, I called the number online and it said that you could, there was a way to, to pay when you get up here. So I was gonna try to camp here tonight, but it says that it's closed, so I might have to find somewhere else to go. All right. That was a lady just uh, asking if I was with something. I don't know. She 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 was asking if there was another way in. I said, uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to look up uh, another place to go. Maybe there's a, a private one that you can just go there, pay, and camp. I mean, this is stupid. There should be a way to do this. I mean, I get COVID and everything's going on, but it's Florida. They're pretty chill. Anyway, I'm gonna look up the next one. It's still pretty early. It's like 7, 12, so try to find another one. There may yet be hope. I found that there are several other entrances. I looked up and found the ranger stations and the ranger station for this state park, and I'm gonna go there. I looked around and tried to find other campsites in this area. I'd have to go all the way down to Ocala to maybe find some. I looked at some in Ocala, and they're all like RV parks, and the only one that I found that actually had campsites, they're only available on weekends. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or tent sites, excuse me. The only one that I found that has tent sites in Ocala, not Gainesville, unfortunately, is only available on weekends. Like they, RVs and stuff can, can any day of the week, it's open, but on the weekends, they have tent sites, not during the weekday. And today is, what's today? I believe today's Tuesday? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go to that ranger station, see if it's open. I made it to the other entrance, the other gate, and it's, it's closed too, so this is stupid. I really don't want to like go to an RV park and pay more money just to park my car. I just want a normal campground that's not closed after dark. The gate. I mean, there's pe there's probably people in there right now, but the gates are shut and I have no way to get in. So it's still early. It's 7:44. I could just keep driving and then come back to the Gainesville DIY and finish filming there on another day. Um, I don't know. Kind of upset with myself for not figuring out the camping 
part ahead of time. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I didn't think it would be difficult at all to just find a campground, pay some money, set up a tent, go to sleep, get up, go skate. Shouldn't be this difficult, but apparently it is. Uh, so the only other option I have is to keep looking online, trying to find another place that's even further away. I mean, I'm already like halfway between Gainesville and Ocala now, so maybe if I find a place in Ocala. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can pay for a hotel. I really was trying to avoid doing that on this trip. I don't want to go, like, it would just be nice just to camp. I mean, I brought all my camping gear, so um, I don't know. I'll just, like I said, it's, it's still early, so I'll look up some more places. Nothing's ever as easy as you think it's going to be. Okay, so you probably didn't expect to see me here, or maybe you did, because I've been having such a hard time figuring out what in the world I'm doing. I am at a cheap, cheap hotel, motel, whatever, tiny little place, because I couldn't find a campsite to go to. Um, I'm still in Gainesville. I am literally a, within walking distance of the skate park. So I'm just gonna crash here tonight, go to the skate park tomorrow, film an episode of Park Sharks, hopefully have a blast, and then it's on to Ocala. Once I get to Ocala, I'm gonna make sure, or at least hopefully I'll make sure, I'm gonna do my best to first scout out the skate park. There, there's two of them that I'm thinking about going to. I might go to both, I might just go to one. I haven't figured that out yet. Scout out the skate park, and then after that, make sure I secure a campsite if there's one open and available. So that's it. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so it's 11 a.m. the next morning. Left my hotel. We're back at the DIY. I feel pretty good about today, so let's just get some skating in, get an episode of Park Sharks filmed, and then on to the next location. Let's do it. at the DIY in Gainesville and luckily a couple guys came out so I was able to shoot a little bit of footage of them. Uh, they declined to be on camera uh, for an interview so I wasn't able to get an interview with them but they were really cool, fun to hang out with. One of the guys was actually uh, celebrating his 30th birthday so that was uh, fun to be a part of. But now I gotta move on. Uh, I'm gonna go to Ocala. It is, what time is it? About three o'clock, almost three o'clock. I need to get to Ocala and hopefully find a place to camp and then check out uh, one one or two of the addresses that I have. There, I know there's one skate park there. I've been there before just to, to check it out, but I got another address. I'm gonna try and see if there's an actual skate park there because from what these guys tell me, uh, there's only one skate park. So maybe I have a bad address or something. But anyway, I'm gonna hit the road and we're gonna keep this trip going. This trip just keeps getting better and better. I just drove to a campground in Ocala. Got here early enough to get to the gate. 
Um, there's no attendant here, so I went onto the website to book it and went through the booking process, picked the date and everything. And then when I went to, to submit it, it says arrivals at this facility for Wednesday, January 13th may not be booked after 1 p.m. I mean, there's like 50 sites open. I should be able to book it whenever I'm here. The gate's not closed. I made it in. I should be able to camp here. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. If there was a person here, then I could talk to them. And I tried calling and nobody answered. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's raining. The rain was coming down a little bit on the way over here and it's still sprinkling. And I can't go skate the rest of the day because of that. So here it is, it's like 4.23. So it's after one o'clock. I can't camp here. So I don't. I guess I'm just gonna go to another hotel and pay more money. It makes it difficult to do things on the fly. Like you actually have to have every single little thing about your trip planned. When I don't wanna do that, I would like to just be able to do things and not have to plan every meticulous little detail out and then just throw a tent up and camp somewhere. But if I just camp wherever, then obviously I could be on private property or um, government property and I can't be there legally. So I'm trying to do it the right way, but apparently I have to book whole day in advance where I should have found the place early this morning but I was out shooting I had to shoot uh, at the park at, at uh, in Gainesville so I wasn't even thinking about booking the place I just wanted to make sure I got into the gate before the park closed so the gate wouldn't be shut um, but apparently that's not enough I don't know this is dumb I don't want to plan everything days in advance because I might move on and go somewhere else plans change you know why would I pay money to reserve something way in advance if it rains and I don't want to go or if the park's not really worth covering once I see it. Apparently camping is just not the route to go for doing trips like this. You should just spend more money and get hotels. I, it, it, it's strange to me that you can show up at a hotel at any time. It doesn't matter. They'll always let you check in. But here it's just like you got to do everything super early. It's aggravating. It's frustrating. So I guess I'm just going to find a crappy motel again. Anyway, rant over. So. I am not gonna go to a hotel yet. I'm just going to go check out the Ocala, the Ocala Skate Park. Maybe the rain won't be too bad. It's open till 10, so I think they have lights out there. We'll see. Maybe I'll get a little bit of footage and then get a hotel and then finish filming up there tomorrow before I head to the Tampa area. Forget camping, I'm just not gonna camp the whole trip. How about that? No camping on this trip. I'm done with it. Done even trying, don't care. So anyway. Uh, I'm gonna hit up the Ocala Skate Park, see what I can get despite the bit of drizzle that's coming down. I thought there was there was two in Ocala. I thought I had a, an address for the second one. Apparently I was mistaken. I think I was mixing up the cities or whatever. Just one over here. Let's go do it. So as I sit here, and wait on this train. I'll just get a few things off my chest. I'm literally right outside the skate park too. <laughs> so just gotta sit here and wait. From that campsite to here was about a half hour drive. And I think there's a recurring theme for this little documentary. It's that not everything goes as planned. And also I'm terrible at planning. <laughs> I planned the skate parks that I was gonna go to, but for camping, I just didn't even give it a second thought. My SD card's filling up. I got no time left. I gotta switch SD cards. That's how bad I am at planning. The train has passed now, and I'm switching up my SD cards. Maybe I'll finish this talk when I get to the skate park. I am now at the skate park, and I got my other SD card in. It is still raining, but back to my point. Yeah, things don't always go as planned, even when you're a terrible planner like me. Obviously, if I had planned better, it would have been smoother, but things still, you know, can go wrong at any moment. I was always uh, expecting the possibility of rain, especially in Florida, because I lived in Florida for two years of my life, so I know that rain happens in Florida all the time. But typically in the winter season, um, it's January now, uh, it, it doesn't rain that often. It's just been a slow drizzle all day. Well, most of the afternoon, it's just been a slow drizzle. I don't think the park's gonna dry up anytime soon. I'm just gonna hang out here, and if it dries up, it dries up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Get a few things done, dump some footage, organize my files and everything, maybe post some things on social media about the trip. So anyway, I made it to the second skate park, but most likely I won't be filming today. I'll have to come out here tomorrow and then go to Tampa after that. Real quick, I do want to show that I did plan something at least, right? Check this out. I made this charging station. It's uh, just a piece of you know wood veneer and I attached all of my chargers 
with these sticky things for hanging pictures and Velcro, I can charge all my stuff so I don't have to worry about batteries dying. And it runs to this thing here, which has three outputs, and that attaches to the back of the seat, and then that runs to here. And there's two more plugs that I was using to charge my microphones with my receiver that I'm wearing right now. Hopefully it sounds good. I have no idea if it sounds good. I did something right. I knew I was gonna need power, so I got that done at least. I'm out here at the Ocala Park still. I'm letting, I let my laptop charge for a while in my car and it stopped raining. It's now like 6.30, it's completely dark, but there are some awesome lights out here. So I'm just gonna check it out and maybe shoot a little bit of footage. I don't know. We'll see if it's skatable, if it's dry enough. Well, some of the surfaces are a little bit wet, but it's definitely dry enough to skate. So I'm just gonna, you know, mess around, get a couple of clips for the Park Sharks episode, and then we'll leave here and get some more tomorrow. <laughs> On second thought, probably not. Uh, I literally just filmed that stand-up and I was about to start skating and look, it's raining. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. It, it had like stopped raining for, I don't know, a little over an, an hour and mostly everything is dry and now we have rain. This seriously sucks. Why? I'm back in my car, of course, but I'm just gonna wait. I mean, it's still, it's not quite seven o'clock yet, so I'm just gonna wait it out and the park closes at 10. Hopefully if it's, you know, gets drier and gets dry enough to where I can skate it before the park closes, this wouldn't have been a waste of time. To sit out here but i don't really have anything else to do anyway so i'm going to have a banana and peanut butter and honey sandwich i brought all my own food if anyone was wondering how i'm eating on this trip so i'm trying to stay as cheap as possible and unfortunately i keep having to get hotels i have to get a hotel tonight and that's really running into my budget so i'm glad that I brought a bunch of food with me so I don't have to worry about that expense. I imagine this is what it would be like. This is like a short taste of what it would be like to live out of your car. What I just don't know is like, I'd probably be fine sleeping in my car for this trip, but I don't know where people park. And I don't wanna park in like, you know, like a Walmart parking lot or something, cause it'd be so bright. I guess uh, people that live in their car probably have like curtains and stuff or something to block all the windows. So if they're parked in a lit up area, which probably would be the smart thing to do anyway, they could at least black out all the windows, sleep there without a bunch of light getting in. Anyway, dinner time. This is actually my first meal of the day. I ate some chips, that's about it today. It stopped raining. It's a little after 8.30 now, and the park's dry enough to roll around. So I'll roll around and try to get a few tricks in the night. Should hopefully get about an hour session in before the lights cut off and they close the park. Cold and wet does not mix well. And there's a train track, literally like, 50 yards from here. I'm not sure how well it's picking up on the mic, but it's very loud. Dang, this thing is long. How long is this? <laughs> as long as me. Well, longer than me, but as long as me stretched out. Oh, that was weird. I feel like it's better to get at least one kick in. Just doing some ollies. I rode around a little bit. It's cold and wet and I'm stiff and I'm tired. It's been a long day. Um, I'm excited to come out here tomorrow and film a full episode of Park Sharks. It's gonna be a pretty uh, pretty challenging park, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's some small stuff and some large stuff, so it's got a good mix of uh, pretty much everything. 
probably it's more on the larger advanced style. Hopefully there'll be some cool dudes out here and I can talk to them and film them. Um, if not, it'll just be me. That's just the way it goes. I just took it easy tonight, just rolled around, got a feel for the place. Now I'm going to try and find a hotel so I can get some good rest. I'm starting to get a headache. Uh, this is the second headache I've had today. So hopefully after a good night's rest, I'll be able to come out here tomorrow feeling fresh and we're gonna keep the trip going. I made it into my hotel for the night. I actually found a decent one. It's surprisingly better than I thought it would be for the price. It was like uh, 65 bucks. Um, this one's same price as the one from last night, but it's much nicer. Not too bad, whatever. Um, I'm dumping footage. I'm gonna start just dumping SD cards and go through it and organize it and everything. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. And then hopefully tomorrow will be a much better day and it won't rain and it'll be nice and sunny and not super cold. We'll see. So I made some progress with the footage, went through everything, got everything dumped. So my SD cards are clean and ready to go. Got a good night's sleep, and now I am out at the Ocala Skate Park. It is a beautiful Florida day. I have been waiting for this moment. So things are looking a little bit better. It's time to film an episode of Park Sharks. Let's go. It's a little bit after five, the sun is going down, it's starting to get a little bit colder out here. So it's going to be dark soon, but luckily, as you saw before, there are lights out here. So I'm just going to keep skating. I feel pretty good. My legs are a little worn out, but I've been skating better than I thought I would. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it going. I talked to a couple guys out here. One guy actually uh, knew about Waycross and Nay Hunter and the hotel skate park and everything. So that was pretty cool. Um, most of the guys that I talked to left uh, pretty early though. So didn't get a chance to shoot them a whole lot on camera, but hopefully they'll be some other guys out here tonight as the uh, sun sets. Typically older skaters that are a little bit better, you know, more experienced, you know, they come out here at night after work and stuff. Uh, it's been tough dealing with a lot of scooter, scooter kids and bike kids and stuff like that, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Feeling pretty good. Let's keep it going.
right, so I just finished up in Ocala, Florida. Man, it's been an awesome day. My mood has gotten so much better after, you know, so many crazy things or unfortunate things or unforeseen things have happened. It was a beautiful day. It's a little cold right now and my legs are so tired, but I've had an awesome time. And the good thing is I don't have to worry about where I'm gonna stay tonight. I've only got about an hour and a half drive, hour and 15, something like that. I am gonna go stay with my grandmother who lives in the Tampa area. So I'm about to tear down these lights, pack up all my gear and hit the road. So it is day four. I just left my grandmother's house. It's almost noon. I slept in a good bit because I was very, very tired. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a little sore, not too bad. Today, I am going to the downtown Tampa historic Bro Bowl. I'm pretty excited about it. Now, it's not huge, so what I'm gonna try to do is knock that one out and then immediately drive down to Bradenton and skate the Riverwalk skate park, which I've been to before and shot a little bit of footage, so I don't have to do like a full shoot there. So if I can get two done today, which might be asking for too much, um, I'm gonna be really happy. There might be some rain this afternoon, so we'll just see how it goes. Let's hit the road. Fortunately, it was just during the uh, interview, so I had to cut the interview short, so I won't really talk much about the park in the Park Sharks episode, uh, but I got a pretty good bit of skating done, and I knew it was gonna rain. Like, I knew there was a, a high chance that it was gonna rain, so I'm not really that disappointed. Um, and I was done skating anyway. I was just trying to wrap up the interview real quick, and then down came the pour. Since it rained, it probably also rained in Bradenton, which is my next stop. They have lights, so I uh, was planning on just going out there and filming a few things and finishing up an episode that I had previously started like over a year ago. So I, if it hasn't rained there, if it's dry, then I could still do that and wrap that episode up. So I'm just gonna roll by there and see if it's dry. If not, then I'm just gonna keep going all the way down to Fort Myers, which is where I'm staying tonight. I'm staying at a friend's house, so could be worse. I'm not super disappointed, whatever, it is what it is. I'm still feeling pretty good. I had a decent skate day, but I didn't do near as much today as I did yesterday. I like wore myself out yesterday, so, but I still had a good time. Let's hit the road. It kept raining. So I just kept going south. I didn't even stop in Bradenton. It was, it rained for like, I think it was like 30 miles or something, 30 or 40 miles. I think it was 45 miles actually from 
the skate park of Tampa to the Bradenton skate park and it was still raining when I got to the Bradenton area so I knew that the park would be wet so I just kept going south to my next location which is Fort Myers. I'm in Fort Myers now. I'm about to go over to my friend's house and stay the night there, probably go through some footage, get some stuff organized, uh, get all, everything dumped and organized, um, do a little bit of work tonight. But tomorrow, I'm just taking a chill day. I am just gonna hang out here in town. I don't really have any plans. I'm sure we'll go do something, but I'm gonna take the day off and I'm probably not gonna document any of that. I will see you in two days and hopefully, if everything goes well, and the weather's gonna be good, Miami is gonna be the next stop. Now, if this trip has taught me anything is that plans change all the time. So as of right now, in two days, I'm gonna head down to Miami. We'll see how it goes. It is now day six, and I spent most of day five hanging out in Fort Myers. I went to the flea market and just walked around and enjoyed you know, looking like I always do. I love going to flea markets. I don't know why. I just think it's, you know, just a cool atmosphere. I did that and then I went and got a new board um, as a backup and switched out my trucks and everything back at my friend's house. So got all that ready to go. So now I've got two completes ready to go just in case I break one. So the plan was to go to Miami and who'd have thought? I'm learning a little bit and I decided, you know, maybe before I just go down to Miami and skate their one skate park, which is the Lot 11 skate park. It's only a little over a year old and it's amazing. I said to myself, I better look it up and see if it's even open. Turns out it is, but there are some restrictions. On their website, they say that every two hours there will be a new session and you have to book a session in advance, which means you can only skate two hours per day. And if you book more than one session in a day, they'll basically ban you from the park. Now, this obviously is because of COVID-19 and all that stuff, yada yada. So I'm not gonna go because I can't film an entire episode of Park Sharks in just two hours. So whatever, I was pretty excited about coming to Miami, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna be that upset about it. So I'm gonna go somewhere else. Uh, it's right now about one o'clock and there aren't many skate parks in Southwest Florida, um, especially free ones or ones where you don't have to wear helmets, and I need something that I can just do quick. So it's day six at one o'clock, and I need to drive somewhere that's close by, that is small, that I can cover really quickly, and I don't need to wear a helmet, don't need to pay, nothing like that. So the only one that I could find is in Kissimmee. Kissimmee is about an hour and a half, uh, hour and 45 minutes, I believe, from here. So if I get there, that should put me there at somewhere around three o'clock, if I leave right now. Um, that'll give me a couple hours of daylight. It is gonna be overcast, so I gotta keep that in mind. It's gonna get dark a little early, but I do have my lights with me, so I can just skate and get a, get a bunch of footage and then I can film my interview at night. I don't think that that skate park has any lights, um, but since it's small, I should be able to at least showcase all of its features in a couple of hours, as long as I have a good skate day. So we're gonna hit the road, go to Kissimmee. I'm either gonna get a hotel there or I'm gonna go up north to the Tampa area, back to the Tampa area, because uh, there are a couple of skate parks that I do want to hit there. So I'm sort of switching gears. Instead of going to Miami and then going up the East Coast, I'm just gonna stay in Central Florida and the West Coast. So Kissimmee and then Tampa area, there are a few skate parks there that I still haven't covered. Actually, probably more than a few. There's a lot, but there's a few that I really wanna tackle. So. I'll just go that, go that route and then head my way back up to Georgia. Hopefully in the near future, I can take another road trip and go down the East Coast all the way down to Miami and then back up. Because I literally don't think I've hit a single skate park on the East Coast for Park Sharks. So we'll just make that a whole separate trip. Let's do it. I made it out here, I need to make a correction. I am not in Kissimmee, that's more towards the Orlando area. I am in Okeechobee, Okeechobee. I guess that's, I'm pronouncing that correctly, at the Kiwanis Skate Park. So it uh, appears to have lights. Um, I wasn't able to find any information online when it closes, so hopefully there are lights out here and I can stay out here until after dark. If not, 
I'm gonna have to cover this very quickly because it's a little bit after three o'clock, so let's get it done. hit mostly everything out here and as you can see there's lights it's a little bit after six o'clock and the guys told me that there's a knob you can just cut the lights on and when it runs out of time you just cut them right back on it's got a little timer on it so that's pretty cool no one else is out here so I'm just chilling by myself trying to get a couple of clips I don't know if I should just you know pack it up since I'm basically done and go to a hotel or if I should hit the road and go to the next location and get a hotel there. I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out. finished up filming at the Okeechobee skate park and spirits are good my legs are killing me but I'm feeling pretty good um, other than that I didn't skate as hard as Ocala that's for sure because um, my legs are just wearing out really fast now even though I took a whole day off in Fort Myers I just I got worn out really fast so it's eight o'clock right now and I'm not gonna stay here I'm gonna go ahead and drive to the next location which is going to be mulberry florida i did an episode in mulberry um several months ago they had this you know really pretty bad skate park it wasn't very good at all but i just found out about a week or two ago that they just got a brand new park so i really want to check it out because it looks awesome and it's actually very close to another park i can't remember the name of the town lakeland i think that has a really nice park. So I might go do both or I might just do the, the Mulberry Park. It really just depends on how I feel. I'm really running into bad luck not finding like other good skaters to film. That would help me out a ton if I could find, like when I go to these parks, if there are other, they don't have to be amazing, but just like moderately, ex moderately experienced skaters that can help showcase these parks. But I don't know, I've been having a little bit of trouble with that, but I mean, it is what it is. There's not gonna be guaranteed I'm gonna be a good skater out at every skate park every day. And I'm just popping up at random days, so I get it. This might be uh, my last night, I'm not sure. My body is just really starting to wear out. I really just need to take more than just one day to rest. I'm gonna keep pushing forward until I'm just like, okay, I'm not able to finish these episodes. So, I mean, this is, this is day six, so I've made it uh, almost a week. Tomorrow will be a full week, so uh, two hours to Mulberry and we'll see how tomorrow goes. And then I'll either keep going or I'll just head back home. It should only be maybe three or four hours home from there. So yeah, let's get it done. I just drove two hours to Mulberry looking for the Mulberry skate park, the new one. I had to double check the address because when I went to the address that was given to me, it's super dark and I couldn't see anything. And there's just a bunch of dead end roads but there was like a big like open darkness off to the side and I'm pretty sure it's like in a big open field, but I couldn't see any road to turn down and I couldn't see anything. It was super dark because it's 
you know, almost 10.30 at night now. So I'm just gonna assume that it's there. Uh, I, I didn't see anywhere to turn in or anything like that, so. Maybe it's just hidden in the darkness. So I'm just gonna get a hotel. I'm, it, I'm not even like right in Mulberry. Like I'm looking on the map and I can't quite see. It doesn't look like we're in Mulberry. We're just outside of Lakeland. Uh, or we might be in Lakeland. I can't see the actual city limits, but it's in between Mulberry and Lakeland. I don't even know if that's in the same county or whatever, but I, I'm assuming this has gotta be the right location. I'm sitting in a Walmart that's just right outside that address. So I'm, I'm just gonna get a hotel and crash for the night. If for any reason I can't find it tomorrow, if it's not in this location and I'm not, unable to find it, I'll just go to the Lakeland Skate Park because the Lakeland Skate Park is really nice and I've been wanting to do that one as well. The goal tomorrow is Mulberry Skate Park. Film that one if I can find it. Possibly go to Lakeland even if I do skate and film at the Mulberry Skate Park, but possibly not because I know I'm gonna be dead tired because it's a really nice park and I'm gonna to wanna to skate it a lot. So after that, I think I'll probably just head on back because that'll be a full week and that will be five skate parks that I've uh, been able to film full episodes of Park Sharks. And I would say that's a job well done, mission accomplished. Time for a hotel. I made it to day seven. It actually feels like it hasn't been seven days with all the trips ups and downs. Time is just kind of flying by. I'm about to leave the hotel. It's around 11 o'clock in the morning. It's time to go find the Mulberry Skate Park. The map says it's somewhere just up ahead in half a mile. Just got open fields. There is a park right here on the right called Joyce Harp Park. I don't know if it would be there, but keep on going down 0.2 miles, 0.1 miles. It should be right here on the right somewhere. And there's, okay, so it should be right here. And there is an open field with nothing there. Okay, I just straight up don't have the right address. All these are dead ends. I could go down those streets, but each one of them is a dead end. I don't, I don't, this is not, or this is not right. Yeah, every single one of these streets are dead ends. I gotta find a place to pull over. Actually, I'm gonna drive down just a little further. I haven't continued down this road, so I'm just gonna drive down here and see if it opens up to another park area or something. That appears to be a church. Hmm, I don't know. I am sitting in a gas station parking lot. I don't think I have the right address. I'm gonna send my buddy Nick, he's the one who's made some posts skating the park and he was the one who gave me the address. So let's see. I just sent him a message said, hey man, I went to that address and didn't see the park. Are you sure that's the correct address? I need somebody to just drop a pin and send me the pin or something. Yeah, it's like in an open, it's in an open field it looks like. It's pretty nice. He said they're, they're still building it, but you can skate it, so. This sucks, I guess I'm just gonna sit and wait. Second thought, I'm not gonna sit and wait. This is a pretty small town anyway, so I'm going to just drive around. I'm gonna just look on Google Maps for open fields and just drive out to them until I get a message back. Maybe that'll work. Actually, wait just a minute. I was looking on the map. Remember that park that I was talking about when we were passing it? It's got like baseball fields and stuff. So it's a recreational park. I didn't know it was a recreation park. Look at this. Uh, yeah, see th that shape, those, those are baseball fields. So a lot of times, typically, if there's recreation stuff, that might be where they built the skate park. And that wasn't too terribly far. I mean, it, that was on the same like road, or the park entrance is on the same road as the address that he gave me. So I'm gonna go out there. Maybe it's out there. All right, Lois Harp Park. Could this be it? We've got what looks like soccer fields out there. Okay, the baseball fields are that way, but there's cars parked over here. What's over here? bunch of cars over here. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's out there. There's the skate park. Ha ha, success. He kind of gave me the right address. Not, not quite, but it was close. Yeah, this is cool. Not very big, but it's got a lot of stuff. Sweet. So now that I found the place, I am noticing that my SD card is starting to fill up. So I'm gonna dump some footage and I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to make me a little sandwich and then get this episode shot. Second thought, no I'm not, because my laptop is dead. I don't know why. It was fully charged before I left uh, my friend's house in Fort Myers, and I haven't opened it since, so I don't know what's up with that. Whatever.
Tam de I just finished up at Mulberry. This place is amazing. I had such a good time. I'm surprised my legs aren't just like completely shot because uh, I skated a lot today. I actually spent a lot of time skating and not filming because it was so much fun out here. But I think I got a good amount of footage. It should be a pretty good episode of Park Sharks. I'm pretty excited to, to get to editing it. Next, I'm gonna go to Lakeland. It's 8:12 and the locals here told me that the Lakeland Skate Park has lights uh, until 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna run on over there really quick and uh, just check it out for a little bit. I probably won't try to film or anything like that just cause it's getting late and I need to hit the road and get back home. So off to Lakeland for just a little bit of time. Unfortunately, I was given the wrong information. I drove out to find the Lakeland Skate Park and saw that the gate was shut and it was closed. Just chop it up to another unfortunate event out of a series of unfortunate events. Well, I think that's gonna do it. I finally reached the end of my journey. There were some good times and some bad times, some lessons learned, and uh, I do not regret taking this trip, even if I had to do it by myself. It was so much fun through all of the craziness. I'm extremely thankful that you decided to check out this entire video, which is probably extremely too long. And if you really liked it, I just ask you to share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Now, if you really, really, really liked it, I do have a Patreon. I'm hoping to do like extra content and stuff that's exclusive for that. But as of right now, if you can just give a dollar a month, I would be extremely grateful because that's going to help me hit every skate park in the country. I know it's a ridiculous dream, but that's the dream that I've had for the past six years. So I have a four and a half hour drive 
home, which sucks because I really don't feel like driving. I am dead tired, but that's just the way it goes. So yeah, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here.